Specialized police teams and Belize Defense Force soldiers swarmed outside Belize City and portions of the Cairo District this morning, rounding up alleged gang members. In the face of three murders and a spate of shootings, the Commissioner of Police, Chester Williams, declared a state of emergency in portions of the Old Capital, Roaring Creek and Kamalote Village. A state of emergency was declared this morning, um, covering the almost the entire south side of the city and uh, the Hattieville and Another World era of Ruin Creek Village, as well as Young Bank era of Kamalote Village. And so we also have police and BDF operating in Hattieville, in, sorry, in um, Ruin Creek and uh, Kamalote, picking up those persons who we believe are part and parcels of the flare up of gun violence in the Belmapan area. In recent months, the police and the Leadership Intervention Unit have been working with various gangs to quell the violence. But Williams says some of the factions are hell-bent on feuding. He notes that the SOE is a last resort, but says the department will not be throwing up a white flag on its self-handed approach. I don't think that any reasonable Belizean would ever say that the government and the police is not doing enough. We have our entire LIU program which is geared towards helping young people, um, to help those young men who are caught up to see how they can come out of living that lifestyle. We are doing interventions. Um, they are given employment opportunity. So the truth is that the government and the police is trying. But again, we all know that there are going to be those persons who will not want to live a peaceful life and uh, may continue to live that violent um, lifestyle. And so the SOU is geared at going after those persons. Williams underscored that the SOE would not affect the lives of everyday citizens and denied that it is a sign of the police failing in their duties. To say I feel that the police, what does the police have to deal with? The police have to deal with the failure of society. Um, your brothers, your children, your uncles, those persons who choose to live a violent lifestyle, they're not the police raised them. They're raised in their respective homes and they turn out to be what many families do not desire them to have become, but that's how they become. And so the police have to end up dealing with those persons. The statutory instrument says that a public emergency has arisen and states that the alleged gang members will spend one month behind bars at the Belize Central Prison. And according to Williams, while the men are locked up, investigators will be working to bring additional charges against them where necessary. The intention is one to have them investigated by CIB because many of them are being accused of um, shootings or even murders and then some of them are also being accused of being a member of a gang. So the CIB are going to be able to follow up on those shootings and murders investigation while the GI3 will be able to follow up on the gang issue to see if we'll be able to come up with charges to charge them for being a member of a gang. Um, the SOE gives us that ability because one of the things that we are getting from witnesses when we have these shootings is that they fear to cooperate with the police because they fear retributions coming from those persons who are accused of committing these shootings and murders. So with them being in prison, um, it will be able to give people the opportunity to be able to speak freely to the police without having to worry about um, repercussion from those persons who are involved in these crimes. Five gangs are currently at war in Belize City. William says the SOE will ensure tensions between these groups and others in Belize City do not boil over into more bloodshed. It had reached a stage where if we don't do something, then the cancer is going to spread further and then the other gangs are going to feel like, oh, over there is flaring up and nothing has been done to them. So better we have we won't think to. So we have to ensure that we do something that is um, measurable and uh, that is going to bring some calm. The police will be issuing wanted posters for the men they believe were able to elude this morning's roundup. Vigilverse, Love News.